Okay, I want to give you some ideas of movement. Last video I talked to you about the importance of movement. Here's something very simple. Now, you may or may not have ever done this. I'm going to take you through some simple boxing fundamentals. Once again, very basic, but it talks about movement. Now, before, as we start, when we do boxing technique, it's important that we first have our body set right. And when I say body set right, the feet are very important for this. So what I'm going to suggest to you is that your feet are one shoulder width apart. And then if you're a right-handed person, your right foot would drop back because that's your power side. If you're a left-handed person, just the opposite, your left foot would drop back. Now, when you're doing this stance, we don't want our body straight forward. We want our body turned to the side to protect us. By turning our body to the side, that also loads up our ability to generate more power because it has more distance to travel to a target. So notice as I've, as I've turned, I've turned my feet to the side a little bit as well. But you can still see that my feet are one shoulder width apart, and that's important. Again, I turn the toes to the side a little bit to turn my body in to set up for power. Now, my front hand is up in front. Now, you can do this either with your hands open or with your hands closed. If you're making a fist, it doesn't have to be a real tight one for this, okay? So we're just working on form. I'm not showing you this so that, that we can think we're going to go into a boxing match or we, you know, we're going to need to punch somebody in the nose outside. That's not why I'm showing this. I'm showing you the fundamentals of these boxing movements and how good the movement can be for your body and how strong it can help make you. So from here, your left hand is forward, your right hand is your back hand. Now, the first punch I'm gonna show you is off of the front hand. Remember this, everything that happens in the body strength-wise, the power is generated starting in the center. It's generated in the hips, the thighs, the core muscles of the body. So we have to do this, we have to turn, we have to allow this part to move. So as I do this, my punch, if I have a fist, right at the end, it turns over. I extend my technique out. Now see what I'm doing? This allows me to turn my hips. It starts in the hips and then extend my shoulders. By doing this, I involve my center. See, my whole body's moving. Now we're not even moving our feet just yet. That's gonna come in a later video. All I want you to do is get the mechanics of the motion down. So hips start it, and right at the end, it turns over, and then it comes back. So we're doing this very slowly right now, not even talking about the whip, and that comes later too, the speed and the explosion that a technique can have because that taxes the body differently. So with me one time, just go ahead and work on that movement. As you're doing it, the reason I'm able to talk to you as I move is because I'm conscious of my breathing. I'm continually breathing, continually focus on the center. Now as notice as one hand goes out, the other hand is here up by my face. And I want to do that for a couple reasons. One is if I just drop my hand down, if it were a protecting situation where I needed to protect myself, this isn't doing me any good down here. But for you, the most important reason is this is added weight to hold up. If our body starts getting a little tired, this makes it a little more difficult to have the proper form and to hold this weight up like I'm doing. Okay, so again, it's front hand, hips lead it, and we're not even worried about the pop and the speed. But if you just do the motion, you can feel your whole body turning. You can feel the movement energizing your whole body. So that's the front hand. Now, I'm also gonna add a rear hand to you. Now, as we do this rear hand, my front foot is going to turn a little bit because I don't wanna keep my feet turned like this because that'll put pressure on the outside of my knee. So as I turn that back hand, my front foot starts turning. This is my power punch because it's the furthest from my target. So I turn my foot a little bit, the hips start it, the shoulders start turning. This hand that was my front hand is going to come all the way back here. When it comes back to my ear, like I'm listening to a telephone call, it allows this hand to extend and the shoulder to extend fully. When I turn properly, when I turn my center, when I bring this hand back where it's supposed to be, it gives me full distance and full power on this hand that I'm shooting out here now. So it comes back and again, the turning of the front foot a little bit, right at the end, I've got that boom, that turning. See now if I add both the front hand and the back hand, it's one, two. The other thing that I should talk to you about, and this is important, as I turn the back hand, 
my back heel comes off the floor, and that allows me to release my power. Allows me to, if you're a golfer or a tennis player, you can't release your power with your foot on the floor, so it has to come up a little bit so I can release it, and the weight moves to the front then. It moves forward towards my target. So if I'm doing both, and just, again, very simply, it's hip, hip, shoulder, hip, turn the body, tighten the belly, boom. So if you just do this motion a little bit, you can do it continuously. Feel yourself. Okay, so here you are. Just, you can continuously turn, or you can do one, stop a little bit. But the whole time, again, think about breathing. Think about, this has to turn. In my classes, I always laughingly say to people, make sure you cha-cha-cha. Because if your hips and your thighs and your knees aren't turning, you're not going to get the movement that you want. You're not going to get the power that you want as you turn these techniques. So punching is a great way to involve your whole body in some exciting and vibrant movement. Give it a try. Take your time. Do it slowly. Don't worry about how fast you go right now. That'll come in time. So give it a shot. Best of luck to you.